Hello and welcome to my guide on how to put your ACT triggers on Discord so everyone in your voice chat can listen to them instead of just you. So the first thing you will have to do is there is a link in the description down below uh, which will lead you to this website here. One second. There we go. We'll lead you to this website here. And um, this guide here is how I learned to do it, but uh, it is a bit obsolete. So we will have to go through bit by bit with my guidance. <clears throat> so the first thing you probably should do is uh, go to step three, plugin setup, and go to the releases page right here. There's a link you can click on opens this website here so you scroll down a little bit and uh click on this thing here ACT discord triggers dot zip you download this file like this uh while it is downloading you can scroll back up to step number one how to set up your discord bot so first it's gonna ask you to do, to go to the bot creation page this has changed now so what you do <clears throat> is you type in Discord app in Google and go to on the very first link and goes to here. Um, up there, there is a developer link. And in here, you can go to the de developer portal and it will open this side. And you can already see I already have a CACBOT right here. So here, <coughs> what you have to do is to press on new application. You press on new application. <coughs> you give it a name, like for example, CACBOT, like this. Press create, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so this is your new bot. So what you have to do next is you go to the left here. You click on bot. You click on add bot. Yes, do it. There we go. This is your new bot. <clears throat> then there's a link up here. Learn more about bot users. Open that in a new tab. And in here, what you need is you need this example link. Copy this. Like that. Put it into notepad. So it looks like this. And now we can already close this tab. Now we're on this tab here. You have to go to general information again. And then you have this client ID here. You need to copy this. And back to our link, you have to paste your client ID into here. In between this equation mark and this and sign. You paste it and it, was, it should look something like this. So this link is super important. Save this file and don't lose this link. It's uh, it's easy to um, remake it, but you will have to retrace these steps. This link is super important. So what this link does, let me copy this. I don't won't need it because I will delete the bot afterwards. I already have one. But if, uh, to show as an example, what happens when you go to this link is this website opens and you can allow this bot to enter one of your servers uh, with uh, you have to select the server here and then click on authorize and if you want your bot to enter a specific server to be allowed to enter a server whoever has admin rights on that server has to open this link and press authorize here um, this will allow the bot to enter that server Good. So we're not fully done here yet. There's one more thing. When you go to bot, there's this token here. We will need it in a second. So what you need to do is you go to your downloads. There's the is the Discord triggers. You right click the file, go to properties, and down here you unblock it on the bottom right here. Accept. Okay. Uh, now you can open it. These files in the 
uh, this in the in the zip file need to be put directly into your ACT folder up top. So if I go into my ACT folder, <clears throat> so if I go into my ACT folder, uh, which is on my desktop here, you will see that my Discord files are right here, right? As you can see, this is where they belong. So next what you do is you open your ACT once you've put uh, these files in here. There we go. Then you go to the plugins tab and here you go browse and then you click on this ACT Discord triggers DLL right here. You open and then you press add enable plugin. What happens is that this thing that I have will appear on the bottom of this list. So what you have to do is uh, you press this arrow up button on it four times or however many times you need to until it's at the top, this specific thing. Once it is, you need to restart ACT. You close it and you open it again. So that should mean that you already have installed the plugin. So what you need to do next is over here, this token here, you press on copy. Uh, that's the token you need. Then you go to plugins and here you have a new tab called custom uh, Discord triggers. In the first tab, Discord bot token, paste in the token that you've just copied that one you paste it into here and from now on it will remember the token you never have to paste it in there again so what you do is uh, you can from now on press connect here there we go it's connected then you can select any server that has been authorized any uh, voice chat on that server and then you can simply press join channel and from then on, a new user literally joins the voice chat uh, that is called whatever you called it. In my case, it's CACBOT with a lowercase c at the front. And it will uh, speak out loud or at least make all the noises that your, dis uh, your ACT does. Uh, so... What I suggest is obviously to make it so your CACT bot speaks all your triggers out loud instead of just doing one single noise. Um, I'm not, I don't 100% uh, remember if I've shown that in um, my CACT bot guide, but what you need to do is you need to go to your overlay plugin, your CACTBOT, your UI, RAID boss, And in here, there's a RAIDBOSS.GS. That's the bottom one of the three RAID boss files. You edit it. And there's one specific line we're looking for, spoken alerts enabled. If you set this to true instead of false, like here, then from now on, all triggers will be spoken out loud. And I prefer the Microsoft Zero desktop voice right here. Also, crank up the TTS volume because for some reason it is super quiet. Naturally, super quiet. And that's why I uh, cranked it up. And because the CACBOT is going to be like a user in your voice chat, people can right click it and mute it or change the volume on top of that. And my Discord is flipping out. Great. <clears throat> and uh, from then on, it will. It, you're done already. Over here, you can just literally close this website and never have to think about it again. Um, and all you have to do every time uh, you open your HT is to just select. So go to here, go to this plugin, press connect, 
um, on the server and uh, the channel that you want. Press join channel and then leave channel and you're done. Done. It's that simple. I can't think of anything else. It really is that simple. So, uh, if you have any more questions, put them down in the comment section below. Hopefully, I will answer them quickly. If I don't answer them quickly enough for your taste, um, you can join my Discord server. Um, the link is in the description down below. Uh, I answer those much, much quicker. As you can see down here, I have my Discord always open, and if someone posts a question, I will immediately get to it, as long as I'm online and not raiding. Obviously. <laughs> All right. You have a good time. And see you later.